Okay, uh, hello, my friend. Uh, hopefully that you are doing great. So uh, just following it, uh, just following uh, up from the last, uh, I mean, the previous lesson that we have a uh, simple structure with the payer tab on the mobile, uh, on the application, okay? So in this lesson, I wanna go deep dive, uh, dive deep uh, more uh, to, you know, analyze uh, something more uh, related to the payer chat model. And then we can have some enhancement for what we have just done. So let me try to open the visual uh, app first because I want to reflect the application, uh, the, the screen, the mobile screen on the computer and then you can see it's your, okay? Uh, just wait a moment, it's now trying to launch to, to connect to the device and share the screen. Okay, so go to the app and let's open the texting application. So for example, if you go to the login here and then you can see uh, on the login screen, the main interaction that we want to interact with the elements on the page on the screen, I mean, so we just need to input the username, input network, and click on the login button. So we, we, you know, we just don't want to do anything else specifically for this application in this context. So that means we, you see that we have some main interaction methods. And then if you look at the previous selection, you can see that we introduce some methods that we return the element that we find down on the page. And then we return, and then when we use it, uh, by the way, sorry for the background noise around, okay? Keep place in around. Uh, so when we do it, you can see here, we call something like username here, and then we call Sankey here. For example, something like this one. But now, because as I already explained for you here, we just have some main interactions methods. So we just don't wanna reuse the, you know, the element here for any other purpose. So that's why I want to have something like login page, uh, something like input username. And then what I want to do that I you input the, uh, the whole test here. I put here, okay, that, that is what I want to do. So I just want to introduce some main, inter in main interaction on the page of chat here and then I call it here because I just don't want to do this in other purpose, okay? So this is uh, something we call something like the main interaction methods on the page of chat, okay? Uh, and then uh, just try to implement this one first because it's simple and then you, I can exp uh, explain for you a little more wh when do we need to uh, keep this one and when do we need to just do this one, okay? So let's try to have this method. So let me try to copy and then I come back here, uh, when it would that I will put here, okay? So I will have a template. So in this case, I will not return any file element on the screen. So I will have a void here, void methods here, and then the uh, function name is this one, okay? So this is the function. So this error will uh, disappear. So in this case, we need to provide a string uh, at a username, uh, actually it should be username text for a clearer meaning, okay? So this is the username text. And then what we wanna do that, we will try to find the element here. Uh, and then we can do the same key and then we uh, send the username text here. So actually we will, we will not do this one. Or you can just symbol call something like uh, this dot, our uh, username, and then we send the, the username here. Okay, so there is a uh, username tag, sorry. So there are two, two ways that you can do. So for example, if you ask me what, uh, what should be the way that we, we need to implement for this method, this line or this line. So I want to explain for you here. For example, you have uh, all the purpose for this element. For example, if you come back here, okay? So this element, you, you want to check something more like, you want to check whether the icons display or not, whether you check the placeholder, it have the, the text value is email or not, or you want to check that uh, the, the size of the 
text box, something like that. So that means you need to reuse this element over and over. So instead of something like that, you may think that you will, uh, you know, create more methods to interact on that one. So it's not a wise uh, decision because if you do something like that, you need to create a lot more interaction methods and then it is not the main interaction methods anymore, okay? So in that, if that's in the case, I suggest you to not have something like this one, okay? Or at least you introduce the main methods here and all the things when you need to use something on that, you just need to call the username again here, okay? You got it? So in this case, I just want to keep this one and then I can delete this one, okay? Then I, I can do something like this. And the same thing for the batch work here. If I have the batch work here, I need to have something like the main methods for this field uh, will be something like input username and then we have something like input batch works here. Input batch work here and we need to provide the batch work or batch work value or something like that, okay? So I will call something like this, batch work, send key, the batch work, text queue. And for the login button, it's already, uh, we already, uh, oh, we don't have any uh, main interaction methods for this one. So I can paste here and then we can have something like click on uh, login, uh, login button, okay? So in this, methods we don't need to provide any parameters so in this case i just need to call the login button and then i call the api click here okay simple right and now if you come back here uh let's try to create a new uh you know uh a new methods uh, a new test class because i want to review this one so if you come back here i have a block here and i have an upload this uh, tutorial into the blog because I want to complete it first and then I can update the whole tutorial uh, tutorial later. So that's why I want to keep this uh, content and then I can paste into the, you know, the lesson content, it's just easier for me, okay? So now uh, what I want to do that, I will try to copy the set value with pay object model here, okay? So copy and I want to change the name to copy with pay object model uh of uh, set value squid pay object model and maybe this will be a little longer so maybe main interaction methods so in this case just please ignore the name of case because it doesn't make anything in the real process we have something like this but in this context in this tutorial we just need to you know distinguish between uh the class name so that's why i just want to put something like this one and then we can distinguish between them so now in this case uh, i want to keep everything like before instead i will try to do like something like login page in both username ops i think i need to duplicate this line because i want to keep this uh you know value for a reference so I have something like input or uh, username and then I can copy this one. Then I put inside here, then I delete this line, I duplicate this line and then I call something like input bad work. I do the same thing. I just want to copy this one. I put here, delete this one because I don't need it anymore. Delete this line as well. So this case, I want to click on the login button, right? So this is all of the things you can see the difference here in the new way we create. So we introduce some main interaction methods here in both username, in both spec work and click on the login button. And then in the test script here, we don't need to call the ADI to interact with the path element anymore. And then uh, we can use something like, you know, the ADI inside here. Okay, so this is the main uh, difference. And then when we write the test script, it should be a little, you know, easier for us. So in this case, if you start the Appium and then you run it, I think it should work like before. So let's try to start the Appium server first. Then after it started, you click on the run button here from the main methods of this new class, okay? If you, because I already mentioned, but I just wanna, 
you know, remind you again. So if you hit this run button again, it will run the previous one, not this one, okay? So we will have something like the tech ng framework, and then I will tell you in detail how to set up the tech configuration later. But now, because we just want to explore some main concepts, so what we want to do, just keep it simple, okay? So click on the run button here and run it. So let me try to open the visual app here. And let me try to go back to terminal here. And this is the visual app. So you can see it's now trying to connect and try to launch the application again. So just wait a little. Again, sorry for any background noise around, okay? So here you can see in which is name, password, and click on the login button. As I told you that technically it should work because we didn't do anything new, right? We just try to, you know, create some main interaction methods. So now after that, I want to introduce for you more, a little more. We call it see something like, you know, uh, okay. Uh, I think we can discuss uh, that one in the next lesson because I don't want to combine a lot of, you know, things in just one to one lesson. I would just want to keep it simple, small enough for you to understand easier. So anyway, try to explore around, practice more uh, by for now and see you in the next uh, lesson, okay? We will talk more about the pay of chat. It's not the end, okay? So bye for now.